Welcome, dear Gemini. I'm going to begin with your theme for the week using Romance Angels. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of dear Gemini. Hope all is blessed in your world. Thank you for your love and support each and every week. Your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares all helped grow the channel. I can't believe I made it past 8K subscribers. I'm so grateful, you all. Dear Gemini, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for my dear Gemini to love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Ooh, dear Gemini. So it is safe for you to love on one hand. On the other, unrequited love for some in the collective. Chemistry for others. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Wow. Dear Gemini, you guys are all over the place. So the twins, that is your astrological symbol. I see they're keeping busy. <laughs> some of you, again, it is safe. Holy Spirit says, go out on a whim. Forget your past hurts. You're different now. Things are different. Things have changed. As the earth evolves, so do you. Then there's unrequited love where it's like you went out on a limb, but it wasn't reciprocated. You're like WTF. Then there's chemistry, the undeniable magnetic attraction between you and another. So all over the place are we, but that's the best place for dear Gemini to be. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of Gemini. You know who's watching. You know who needs this the most. Welcome, cross watchers. If you comment, I comment back. Which hat do you wear, dear Gemini? This reading won't resonate for everyone. So be sure to check out your moon rising and Venus on the channel as well. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Woo, the Empress. The Empress has your heart, dear Gemini. There's a divine feminine in your world rocking it. All 12 astrological signs she seems to embody. An influencer, huh? The empress. Oh, dear Gemini. What helps or hinders this notion? Uh, Libra energy there as well with the empress. Doesn't have to be. Just saying. Five of swords. Beautiful. What hindered you and the Empress was a lot of fighting, disagreements, okay? Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, dear Gemini, flighty feels. That's why you were all over the place. It is safe for you to love though, okay? Some of you is unrequited. Others of you, it's undeniable chemistry. Fighting to be with the Empress, fighting the Empress away, Dear Gemini is feeling this tug of war, unconscious factors, eight of pentacles, working hard in the meantime, in isolation, working on your craft, bettering yourselves during quarantine, nonetheless, in the recent past, the Hierophant, societal commitments, tradition, keeping up with the Joneses. This is a theme in your household, even though your last name is not Jones. Ooh, at the crown, we have the world. So a karmic cycle has ended for you. Anything is possible, dear Gemini, from here on out. In the near future, Knight of Pentacles, so actively pursuing the money. Very goal-oriented, could be dealing with Virgos, Capricorn, Tauruses as well. Taurus energy with the Hierophant in your recent past. You all, active pursuit of the bag, of securing your homes, of securing your lives, okay? This quarantine, you realize it for what it is. It's a come-up time, because when everyone's out in the streets again, we're going to see who has what, <laughs> right? Uh, how you view yourself, six of wands, adoration, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy, adoration. You are again mounted on a horse. There's a theme here. You feel up, dear Gemini, which is very good. This is adoration, six of wands, how you view yourself. People are looking up to you. People need you. You're a lot of people's passion. How they view you. Queen of Wands. Absolutely. The feels. The feels. The passion. 
You're a passionate human being, dear Gemini. You, whatever you're working hard on is transcending you energetically and making you beam like, like whoever this empress is. Okay, you're glowing because you are in pursuit of someone, dear Gemini. Or someone's in pursuit of you. Your hope or your fear, ace of swords. You hope for communication. The start of some new communication. Some type of exchange. Verbal. Verbal. Uh, whoa, this just couldn't wait. And knight of wands. <laughs> but your hope is for some type of verbal communication here with that ace of swords. Conversation to come back into the picture if it's gone. Hmm. Knight of Wands, active pursuit again. Near future, Knight of Pentacles. So continuing the focus on your coin, your craft, your work. Then the Knight of Wands. This is active pursuit of passion. So after you work, you're going to want to play, dear Gemini. And there goes the twins. And after unrequited love, there's going to be chemistry, dear Gemini. Boom, 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 boom. You see how that works? Woo! Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of dear Gemini. On behalf of dear Gemini, what is the collective thinking in terms of those with feels of unrequited love? Any advice for those feeling like their love is unrequited? And I don't know why I can't say that. Is it unrequ unrequited or unrequited? Who knows? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you on behalf of dear Gemini. Any advice for the unrequ unrequited? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you feel like you've been stabbed in the back, dear Gemini, you're mirroring each other, Okay. If this is a twin flame situation, they're feeling like they've been stabbed in the back. It is what it is. It's mirroring each other's self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. It's happening to you both, unrequited love crew. Okay. So if you're feeling the heartbreak, the pain, separation, deception, a shocking attack, if you're feeling these ways stabbed in the back, then know that it's being mirrored from yourself, okay? Mirroring each other's self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection, okay? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You feel that way, and they feel that way. Oh, dear Gemini. And the message for, ooh, the chemistry crew. You keep that going by kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love, healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay, kisses will help you to heal your heart. Take it how you you want to take it, but don't like just grab a kiss. You have to like, it has to be requited. <laughs> Oh, dear Gemini, but for the chemistry crew, for real, for real, continue to heal your hearts. There is a magnetic attraction. Kisses will help. <laughs> okay, keep that chemistry flowing. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of dear Gemini. And I'm going to let you guys do a Q&A. Dear Gemini, this is Angel Answers Oracle. I want you to think of a question, dear Gemini, just one. Personal readings are available. Do check the description box below. But for those of you just going with my generals, I do appreciate the love and Holy Spirit would like to help answer a question that you might have on your heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for using me as a vessel on behalf of dear Gemini. Clear and concise response for whoever needs it the most. Thank you. Dear Gemini, I'm going to break it down for you too. One question, and the answer is, you're ready. You're ready. I don't know if they are, but you are. <laughs> you're ready. Let's see, y'all. All your past experiences have led to this moment. You've studied and grown spiritually in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace the person you know in your heart you are meant to to be. Whoever you know in your heart you're meant to be, dear Gemini, please be that person. You'll be satisfied with yourself. 
Screw everyone else. Be blessed. Peace.